Hello everyone, I'm Gary York, Corruption Behind Bars. Thank you for watching this YouTube, and please subscribe if you like this video. Today, I would like to um, talk about how many ways inmates can extort innocent people, or run extortion rackets. You know, uh, extortion rackets on weak inmates is not a new thing. It happens across the country. Weak inmates and drug addicts are usually the ones that get hit for extortions. Uh, also, inmates who need protection um, get extorted a lot. Inmates who are known to have a lot of money or their family has a lot of money uh, get extorted. And inmates uh, will use hackers to obtain uh, credit card numbers. And they'll use these credit mm -hmm. card numbers to purchase money grams. They have people on the outside who help them. And they purchase money grams... Uh, and have the money sent to whoever they desire. And they think that when they launder the money by using these uh, money grams from Walmart that they're safe and it can't be traced. Um, but as a former prison inspector, we had cases like this in Florida. And believe me, money grams can be traced. Um, and so we uh, need to get after this type of extortion. Now, Here's the thing. Many innocent people get extorted in this manner. Families at home that have not committed a crime and they're innocent and these bigger, stronger inmates who are extorting weaker, younger inmates or inmates who need drugs, um, they are using these inmates' families to send money also to certain places and if they don't get the money, they'll either harm the weaker inmates or uh, threaten bodily harm or uh, harm the drug addicts who need drugs or cut them off from their drug supplies. So there's all kinds of extortion that goes on. And uh, last year in Alabama, an article came out where they arrested five officers for helping inmates in these extortions. And this is um, where it really, really gets bad when they have the help of correctional officers. So these officers who broke the law and intentionally undermined the integrity of the Department of Corrections and the institution that they're supposed to protect need to be put away and they need to be sentenced to prison. Honest staff members are placed in danger by people like that. But many, many inmates do extortion on their own without the help of staff members, but when a staff member gets involved, it's really dangerous. Here's a press release that uh, from the Alabama Department of Corrections back, back in May last year when they caught these officers uh, helping the inmates with extortion. Uh, in return for giving inmates contraband, such as drugs and cell phones, investigators found that inmates were using the cell phones to create online money accounts illegally in order to purchase items for the officers, the press relief says. That's how these five officers got arrested. Uh, officers accepted bribes that ranged from home electronics, clothing, automobiles, accessories, and even cruises. This, my friends, should be a prison sentence for those officers who placed our honest officers and prison staff in danger and for their lack of of integrity and undermining our agency's reputation. They make us look bad. So, back to extortion. How many ways can inmates extort? Many, many, many ways. They think of all kinds of ways to extort mm. money from inmates. But when they extort money, it's almost always from another inmate's family members at home who think they're sending money for something else to their loved one in prison. Maybe the inmate says, I need money for canteen and I need this much. Please send it to me. I owe inmates money. Or some of them actually say, I need help. They're calling me a murderer in here. They're calling me a cop killer. I got to have this money now. Please send the money or I'm dead. And then family members get scared 
and they send the money and they direct them on how to send the money in many situations. So now the money is coming from the family members on the outside to another person's bank account on the outside. Normally it's not sent to the um, inmates mm -hmm. committing the crime to their bank account because it would lead back to them. And then a family member from the inmate will uh, send it to the uh, inmate's bank account in prison. It's all a big racket. So it happens in every state, not just Alabama. I have recently gotten a couple of phone calls that family members are very concerned in Alabama that it's happening again through the MoneyGram scam at Walmart. Um, you know, the best I can do, I told them to get a hold of the uh, Alabama Department of Corrections. I told them if they don't get any answers there, go to the FBI. Uh, the FBI in Georgia uh, ran a uh, long investigation and arrested 46 correctional officers in Georgia for similar scams and extortions and working with inmates and bringing contraband to inmates. So um, let's hope mm. that all agencies in all states, when they get allegations sent to them or called in to them about inmates extorting innocent people, Let's hope that they take it serious, and let's hope that they get on it. And for those of you that are reporting inmate extortion um, that may involve staff members also or just inmates, no matter what the case may be, remember, investigations take time. You're not going to just be able to call and report something happening and tomorrow wake up and it's in the newspaper that everybody's been busted. It takes weeks and months the case in Georgia took two years. So I'm just trying to let everybody know who reports these violations and from past experience. These investigations take time and it takes a lot of uh, work and a lot of uh, mm. uh, listening to phone calls, listening to uh, reading mail, all types of things that have to be done before an arrest can be made. But let's take it seriously, folks, for all of us that are in uh, management or in the inspector general. Let's fight this. We're never going to stop it 100%, we know. But let's fight it. And let's take care of it. And let's help those innocent people on the outside who think they're protecting their loved one and the money that they're, they're giving off their credit cards are going not only to inmates committing extortion, but sometimes the money is going to purchase gifts, like in the Alabama example. Let's fight corruption. Thank you very much. Corruption Behind Bars, Gary York.